You know, buying an affordable laptop used to just be the worst. It was really hard to find something that wasn't thick, that wasn't, you know, suffering from really bad battery life and a host of other issues. But recently, that's begun to change. There's actually some pretty good affordable laptops out there. And this laptop, the Acer Swift 3, is a good example of how these affordable laptops have evolved. In fact, this laptop is probably overkill for most of the people out there. Let me show you why. So first of all, this laptop is actually really nice looking. It's got an all metal body. Now it's not a unibody metal, you know, one piece thing or anything like a MacBook, but hey, it's got brushed aluminum. It looks really nice. It feels really nice. And unless you go looking for flex in the chassis, uh, you're probably not gonna find it. So it, it feels like a solid, durable laptop, something you might expect to pay more than $650 for. Now, aside from that, the keyboard is really good. It has a lot of key travel. It's very spacious. It just feels comfortable to use. It's not the best keyboard out there, but you can type at a very high speed on this keyboard without any problems. Touchpad. You know, again, not the best touchpad out there. This is not a MacBook Pro, but it feels good. It's responsive. You can use Windows 10 uh, touch features on it without any problem whatsoever. You even get a fingerprint reader for login on this at $650, which is a little nuts and it, it works well. You know, it's, it's not the best fingerprint reader, but you can usually log in on your first try and get right to work and that's great. Also, although this is a 13 inch laptop, it does have a pretty good array of ports, and that's something that's really become an issue with all kinds of 30-inch laptops. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on it. So, you know, we got a bunch of USB ports over here. Uh, we've got full-size HDMI. You've also got your USB Type-C, so you're a little forward-looking there on that port. Headphone jack, of course, and then on the other side, you've got your SD card reader and another USB port. And again, this is an affordable system, and yet this is covering all the bases. That's probably more ports than you're going to need with a laptop. So it's great to see that on something that is this affordable. Now that general praise extends to the display, which is a 1080p display, uh, good sharpness, uh, good contrast, good color accuracy. It's not the best in class in those respects, but it actually scores pretty well across the board. The only real issue that we have with the display is that the brightness is a little bit lower than some competitors. You might be able to see this here uh, because of the glossy panel and that low brightness. It can be a little hard to use if you're trying to sit down in front of a sunlit window you know, and get the work there. You can probably still use it, it just might not be the best experience. With that said though, again at this price, it's impressive the quality you're getting here. You can sit down and watch a 1080p movie on this display and you're going to be pretty happy with the experience. You can sit down, you can play a game, if it'll run, which we'll, we'll get to that in a second, if it'll run, it'll look pretty nice. Now let's get into where this laptop, as an affordable laptop, really excels, and that is the performance. So you've got a Core i5 7200U processor in this, that's a dual core processor, and that's a really common processor, which is an interesting thing. You see that processor in laptops that are affordable like this, and also laptops that are a lot more expensive. Uh, so actually that means this laptop can compete with ones that cost up to twice as much because they also have that same processor. Now, even more surprising is the hard drive on this because it actually has a hard drive that connects through the PCI Express standard. And so when we tested it, we got write speeds that were over a gigabyte per second. Plus, this model has 256 gigabytes of space that's, again, at $650 price level, and that's a very good amount of solid state hard drive space for the price. Uh, now, the one performance weakness is kind of what you would expect, and that's the gaming. You can't really game on a laptop like this. It doesn't have discrete graphics. You know, if you want to play like Shadow of Mordor or some other recent title like that, uh, you're going to have some issues. You can't really expect this laptop to do that. Now, as a 13 inch laptop, this laptop is portable. Anything that has a 13 inch display, unless it's a, specifically a gaming laptop like an Alienware, is going to be pretty easy to throw in a bag and run off with. Now, this isn't the thinnest or the lightest by any means. A Dell XPS 13 still has that pretty much on lock. But this is pretty similar in the overall shape and weight to a MacBook Pro 13, so that's pretty nice. Uh, this is about three pounds, and the overall size of it is 
about mediocre for a 13-inch system. It's got decent-sized display bezel here, not too large, but also not the thinnest. Uh, as you can see, once you close it, uh, it's about seven tenths of an inch thick, and that's that's not too bad, but it's not the, the greatest. However, considering the price point, I think it's fine. And you have to remember, like that's still pretty thin for a laptop. You, it's something that you can put into a large backpack and just kind of forget about. So no real issues there. Uh, the battery life is good. It's it's not the best, but the 50 watt hour battery in it gives good account for itself. You can expect that if you are, you know, fairly conservative with the battery, you can get through a whole workday with a little bit of charge left over. If you're watching HD video, no problem at all. You can probably get 10, 11 hours in most situations. Now, overall, the Acer Swift 3 is quite an impressive laptop for $650. It covers all the bases. And importantly, it doesn't have any major weak spots. That's often a big problem with affordable laptops. They'll have one or two issues that are problematic and you have to sort of knock them off for it. But this one, solid across the board. The only real issue with it is that it has a competitor and that's the Asus ZenBook UX 330UA. Yeah, name's a mouthful, but that laptop is $50 more than this. It's a little lighter, it's a little thinner, it's a little bit longer on the battery life, and it performs relatively the same, although the hard drive is definitely not as quick. So that laptop actually is the one that I think a lot of people would go for if you're looking for a system that's really portable and in this price range. We do rank the Asus a little bit higher overall than the Acer Swift 3. However, with that said, if you want something that's got a little more performance, if perhaps you want an extra USB port, or you don't mind the slightly larger size of this system and you want to pocket that extra $50, this is totally a good system to go for. It's, it's really impressive what you get here for $650. And it just goes to show that now that we have not only this as an option, but also that Asus that has been mentioned available at this price range, you really don't have to worry about getting a dud when you're getting an affordable laptop any longer.